morning, everybody. It's Jen here with David Christopher's. And David with David Christopher's. David, also. the David with David Christopher's, the namesake, is here as always. And I we, suppose I could be brought to you by somebody else, but that hasn't happened yet. No. Dr. Pepper. That's right. Looking for sponsors, if you know of any, that would be great. But we're back today, and we are getting ready for our open house. It is coming up in just a few days, and our store is being transformed into a winter wonderland. So we are inside our store making this video this morning, and David is going to put together this beautiful blank canvas for you all, right? What is our theme today? Our theme today is Star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem. And so this is going to be a lot of golds. It's golds, ivories, platinum, champagne, just a lot of that kind of color combination. Okay, so we will go ahead and jump right in. We're going to start with some of these champagne branches that have uh, just a little bit of sequin and pearls on them. A lot of you probably saw our post last week about how we're cutting back on some things like out of town design jobs and basically just design jobs in general, wouldn't you say? Not just out of town, but yeah. just in general. We only have a few, we only had a few slots open this year and those are pretty much booked. I'm actually going to try and see our kids a little this year yeah. during November and December. And December, yeah, because we're usually gone so much. And then we have Atlanta Market in January, and we have to make multiple trips to Atlanta because we're in North Alabama, so we have to drive there like four and a half, five hours to get our showroom ready. And so we made the hard decision to just have fewer slots available this year and because of that, we have had to turn down some fairly big jobs, but we just decided that it wasn't worth our health and sanity <laughs> to have so many design jobs on the calendar. So we basically did sort of like a first come first serve basis to reserve the dates. And what we have booked is what we're going to be doing. Because, you know, last year we did so much that David had an episode on me in New York. I was just sick. <laughs> I thought he almost died. When your plate goes down into your food at your table. Your plate? Your face goes into your plate on the table. I mean, that wouldn't be as big a deal, would it? I be. just dropped a plate. No. That's scary. And you have to call the New York ambulance Fire. EMT fire, fire. department. <laughs> so, but I was fine. Well, you got okay, but you weren't they fine. They just basically. said I was exhausted and basically. I had, you know, I was sick and, you know. But he's a man, so he was fine. He was just I fine. Was fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what you all say usually. That's why men die younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't take care of themselves. Like, typically. I don't need anything. <laughs> but a lot of people think Christmas decorating, how much work could that be? That's just fun. But there is a lot that goes into it. And if anybody out there decorates, you know how much work it goes into it. It's not just fun little put some ornaments on a tree. Well, it's a lot of like stair climbing. <laughs> going up yes. and down banisters and mm -hmm. sometimes that's like three or four floors of like up down up down ladder climbing and carrying ladder boxes climbing. up and down the stairs mm -hmm. a product that's heavy and loading the product cleaning Many, up the product because you end up with a lot of mess like this that i'm showing you now but i think it's good for my calves to go up and down the ladder and stairs all the time right <laughs> right so now we're going to use this mixed spray that's got mixed metallic gold, platinum, champagne, and gold in it. Uh, because those are going to be the mostly the colors we're going to work with. And that's going to help um, mix all those colors on the tree. If you're wondering how many pieces of each item to use, we have a Christmas tree recipe guide on our website. 
shopdavidchristophers.com. It's at the top. And you can look up what size tree you have, and it will give you a recommendation on how many sprays, how many ornaments, how many, how much ribbon, things like that. So just making sure you remember that. Now we're going to use our Metallic Glitz Wild Fern Spray in Platinum. And it's this kind of a platinum metallic finish with champagne sequins in it. But these really help give us a lot of length in the tree uh, coming out from the tree. And they're quite inexpensive too. I was assaulted by a sequin. I don't see anything in here that... <laughs> uh -huh. Anybody see anything in David's eye? Uh. Poor guy. Oh yeah, safety goggles would be a good idea. That glitter is so tiny, it'll get you. Okay, okay what's up next on the agenda for this Star of Bethlehem tree? Uh, I think I'm going to start with the... Uh, large ornaments. So this is our 250 millimeter 10 inch. Uh, or is it? Yeah, 250. Why do they measure it in millimeters and inches? Like, what's well, the deal with because that? Because the rest of the world is on the metric system. Yeah, but I mean, here we're not. But they still come in and say... Well, they say 10 inch on them, but some of them, sometimes they, they have millimeter on them. Oh. It just depends. I see. Uh, because a lot of people are used to buying them in millimeter sizes for ornaments like this. A lot of wholesale customers anyway. Or, because when they get so small, like the little tiny berry sized ornaments, those don't really measure in inches. They measure in millimeters. So. Oh, see. So I have added four, well, three, now four different sizes, including 100 millimeter or four inch to the tree. So this is 10 inch, eight inch, five and a half, and four inch, or yeah, I think that's right. So now we're going to be adding, uh, I guess, which was one of our customers' favorites last year. <laughs> this is our watercolor uh, or marbled gold white ball. And it's got this kind of a, it's not like a pure white. It's kind of a funky uh, color. I'd almost call it almost like a gray white. But uh, anyway, we got these in last year kind of late. And we sold out before we got to put them online, I think. So... And we have these in multiple sizes. So if you don't need eight inch, that's fine. We have uh, six inch and four inch, I think. Yeah, six and four and eight. Now we're going to be using these brass and glass finials and these have geometric patterns 
got a little bit of weight to them, they're not super heavy, uh, but we got two different styles of these. And then we have stars that are like six inch and 10 inch Monrovian stars that we're gonna be putting in the tree that match these. Yeah. I'm not listening this morning. <laughs> I lost my ornament in my trash box. <laughs> yeah, these are packed really well. A little yeah. messy. Mm -hmm. But they're not going to break. You see so. all the little peanuts in there. But they're real mercury glass. So, yeah. And then I've saved a few spots on the tree so I, I've put these branches in. One of the reasons I like to put the branches in is because I can actually hang my ornaments out from the tree. It gives that really good dripping effect with the with the ornaments. What's this little lever for? It's a lantern. No but this. What it's a lantern. That? Yeah. I yeah. said what is this little lever for? It, <laughs> it doesn't touch anywhere. It does. It's broken. No. Close it. Oh. <laughs> it's a lantern. <laughs> Linda. <laughs> Linda. I know it's a lantern. Listen, Linda. <laughs> I'm going on not much sleep. Oh Spencer's been keeping me up coughing all night. This is our antique gold, gold star lantern. They're patterned off of like a Monrovian star, but these are great not only because they're just a beautiful piece, they would be a great ornament, but they also have a little latch right here. It's very hard to see because it's very tiny and they'll open. And then if you have a candle in your back pocket, <laughs> like I always do, they are actual lanterns. Ooh, fancy. And you but can put the lamp, the candles on a remote mm -hmm. and turn them off and on on your tree so you don't have to open that little thing and get the... Yeah, don't do that every time. <laughs> no, that would not be fun. But that's pretty. Now we're going to be adding some ribbon and we're going to be using this kind of a cream, kind of a uh, taupey, creamy taupe cross ribbon. And we're going to add this uh, really interesting textile woven plaid ribbon that's got this white with this gold running through it. And we're going to add those together on the tree. So with this cross ribbon, I usually like to cut in between the crosses, Makes but sense. at the same time, I like to cut it in strips because since it's a vertical pattern, I like to, um, let me see if I can find a good spot here. I like to stick it in and wrap it with a piece of pine as I normally do. But then we're going to let this loop and pull those apart. And then we can kind of curl the ends of this ribbon. We love our ribbon. It's very high quality. And and most holds, all of it's wired. Yeah. It holds this nice shape yeah. here, which is great. Little curly key. Mm -hmm.
we're gonna add a few of these metallic bay leaves in this uh, champagne color or gold. It's kind of a light antique gold and they're metallic, but they also have a little bit of glitter. So you get just a little bit of that bling that's gonna really help add some gold. And then we're gonna start adding more golden colored ornaments. We have this funky design, which I think is really cool. Uh, and that mercury glass kind of finish. And those work really well with all the other pieces that we already added. I just remembered that these were snowflakes. You just have to kind of look at them the right way to see yeah, the we'll say that. snowflake. Yeah, that's cool. Kind of a strange geometric, but it's it's fun. Different. Yeah. So I've already added some other things, but we're gonna add these acrylic jewels, plastic. But these are really easy just to lay in and wire back. Lay them on a branch and let them stay. Yeah, the store is getting really busy, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a little more difficult at the moment. Got some plastic gold pine cones and finials we're going to add. Also plastic gold stars for those of you that don't care for glass. And I've got some brass stars in different styles, different sizes that we're going to be adding. Uh, story's getting a little crazy, so we're gonna be finishing up here. <laughs>